Yo, what's happening guys? We are back for another Quick Tip Tuesday on the channel. Today we're talking about stabilization in DaVinci Resolve because we don't want shaky video. Probably like you're seeing right now, we'd rather make it smooth like this. So I do have stabilization on this lens, but it's not on so we can see how well the stabilization works in DaVinci Resolve. So uh, we're gonna head back in the studio. I'm gonna show you the quick way of how to apply these things. And if you wanna know more stuff in detail, maybe we'll talk about that in another video. So let's head on back to the studio and I'll show you how to apply some stabilization to these clips right here. All right, back in the studio. So we've got a few different ways that we can apply our stabilization to our clips. Checking out DaVinci Resolve here. Let's take a look at the first way that you can do it. And right now I'm in the edit tab. So if you take a look right down here, I'm in edit. I've got a few of my clips right in the timeline here. So this first clip that I have is the one that was not stabilized that you just saw. And the second one here is the one that I did stabilize. So in the edit tab here, super easy, highlight your clip. You wanna come up and open your inspector, which is right here. Go ahead and click on the inspector. Make sure you're under the video section. And if you come down here, you've got stabilization. Go ahead and click on that guy, open it up and scroll down a little bit. Now there's a couple different modes that you can use here. You've got perspective, similarity, and translation. I'm not gonna go over them all now, what they do, how they're a little different. All I'm gonna tell you now is try each one. Start with the first one, perspective. If it works, you're good to go. Don't worry about it. If it doesn't work, try the next one. See if that one works. Sometimes they'll distort the picture a little bit or make it a little wonky, make it a little weird. So just try the different ones and hit stabilize and then see which one works for you. On this particular clip, I used the perspective and it worked out pretty good. So because I already have stabilization on this clip, I can just reset all this. I'm gonna just use perspective and all these default settings. If you ever change any of these, if something doesn't look good, you can try adjusting them. And if you get things all out of whack, you don't remember where they were, all you have to do is double click on each one of these and it's gonna reset it to the default settings. So once you have your clip selected, you select the method you want, just hit stabilize. It's gonna go ahead and think going to stabilize that clip and hopefully you're going to get a nice smooth clip once it's done. So sometimes you're going to notice it is going to zoom in just a little bit on your clip to help stabilize it a little bit. And generally for me, when I did this kind of clip here, I'm filming really wide anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's fine. So keep that in mind. It's going to crop it in a little bit in most cases. So if uh, you're right to the edge of your frames, you might lose a little bit on the outside there. Keep that in mind. So now my clip's good, should be stabilized and good to go. So that's the first method of how you can apply stabilization to your clips. The second method here is to jump over into the color tab and we can essentially do the same thing. Let's check that out. So I'm gonna jump over into the color tab, which is this guy right here, if you're not familiar with it. Go ahead and click that and jump you right into the color tab. So there's a lot going on here, but what you wanna do is come to your middle area here and you've got this guy, looks like a little target there. Click on that. In this middle section is where we wanna look. Now right here it says window, we wanna click on that come to the drop down, go to stabilizer. Once you click on the stabilizer here, you've got the same options that you had over in the edit page in the inspector. Taking a look here, you've got a little graph here that's gonna show you kind of what's going on. You've got your cropping ratio, smooth strength. You can lock the camera, you can zoom. And right here you have those same three methods. You've got perspective, similarity, and translation that you can try depending on which one works best for your particular clip. Sometimes I find one works better than the other. I don't know why, it's just different ways that Resolve processes the clip and tries to stabilize it for you. And the other nice feature in here is that you can bypass the stabilization by clicking on this icon right here. So if I've got perspective, again, this is just default settings. I'm gonna go ahead and hit stabilize. It's gonna run through, stabilize the clip, and we should be good to go right here as well. Now back in the day before DaVinci Resolve 17, you didn't have the option to do it in the inspection over in the edit tab, you had to come here to the color tab to get the job done. But now you can do it in either place and it's essentially the same tool. And I find it works fine either way you want to do it. So that is essentially the two ways that you can stabilize your clips right here in DaVinci Resolve. It's pretty easy, pretty quick. And uh, sometimes depending on the length of your clip, it could take a little while to process it in DaVinci Resolve to get it all squared away and stabilize it. Just depends on the length of your clip. So you may have to wait a little bit. Keep that in mind. But just a few other tips when you're trying to stabilize your footage or your camera. I know a lot of the newer cameras, the mirrorless, they've got in-body image stabilization, which is great. On this particular lens that I'm using right now, the 16-35 to 35 Canon, it does have stabilization built into the lens. And generally, I leave it on all the time. In that sample you saw first, I did not have it on just so you could get a little bit more of the shakes in there and see how well the stabilization works here in Resolve. But I do have a clip when I turn on the stabilization in the lens. So I'm gonna show you that and then actually halfway through that video, I'm gonna turn on the stabilization in DaVinci Resolve on top of what the lens already gives me and you can see how well that looks. And of course, just trying to hold your camera as steady as you can. I mean, it's hard when you're walking with your camera out like this, right? It's tough, but you do the best that you can. So let's roll that clip and I'll show you what it looks like with the stabilization in the lens 
And then also with the lens and DaVinci Resolve stabilizing on top of that. Check this out. And just for a little reference, I just turned on the stabilization in my lens here so you can see what this looks like. And now we're gonna go ahead and put on stabilization here in DaVinci Resolve. Oh, by the way, I do have a new mic from Didi here I'm trying out on top of my camera. Pretty windy out here today. It's got a dead cat on there. The last one was really good. But if you're interested in that, stay tuned because I'll be making a review video all about this microphone that you'll find out in a later video. So keep that in mind. Anyway, here's another sample for you and uh, you can see what you think. So that is it guys, quick tip Tuesday in the books here. Another one down. Hope you guys learned a little something about stabilizing clips here. And we've got some interesting videos coming up. Gonna be talking a little bit about how my MacBook Pro died. Still did, actually ordered a Mac Mini. Was not in my plan, but hey, things happen and we gotta do what we gotta do, right? Gotta keep making these videos. I'm actually using a PC to film this video. A little bit of trouble, a little bit of trouble. I'm a Mac guy, stuck in the Mac world, got everything Mac. But we're using the PC to get this done because you guys need some tips and I need to get them out to you, right? So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned for some videos on that. We've got some microphone reviews coming up and lots of other fun stuff as we go through the rest of this summer here. So hope you guys learned a little something. Thank you for watching. Any questions or comments, leave it down below. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.